Okay, so Mark, let me ask you point blank. Uh, when this company, uh, when we saw the company last, here's where we were. Profits were declining 50%. It was a hodgepodge of brands. SEC all over them. Couldn't get financials. To me, I felt like maybe there was less than meets the eye here. In a very short period of time, you've created what I regard as a whole new company. So tell us how you did it and what you're doing. Yeah, we, we were drowning in complexity, Jim. We, we saw health and wellness coming before anybody else, but we had acquired 55 brands over 25 years and really were more of a holding company uh, than anything else. So I was brought in to turn it into an operating company and we put a new team in place. We've got a, a strategy that's been working and we've seen uh, tremendous results. You have let go of a lot of smaller brands that I don't think could ever be bigger brands that would probably cost you at least mind share, if not money. Yeah, having 55 brands, you just can't nurture that money, that many brands. And so we had to make some choices in terms of which ones we were going to grow and which ones were less important to our journey going forward. We shed 17 brands so far that had about $800 million worth of sales, only about $30 million worth of EBITDA. Um, but we're we're getting to be a much more focused, much simpler company, which allows us to really grow the ones with the biggest. At the same time, you still have a lot of international. I mean, for instance, I was trying to figure out who of the companies I follow have Brexit risk, and I, Haines Lush has Brexit risk. Yeah, we have about half of our company outside the U.S., uh, most of it in Europe, and uh, we have eight number one and number two share brands there. So we have an amazing portfolio of products: uh, Ella's, Linda McCartney, Meat Free. Hartley's jams and jellies. We have a big non-dairy beverage business and uh, a lot of opportunity there. And certainly we're watching Brexit closely and we're prepared either way. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.